Hey guys, welcome back to another video on how to build an authentication system for your Android using Firebase Authentication. In this video, we will be only talking about how to reset a password. So if a user forgets his password, they can click on forgot password and we will redirect the user to a reset password uh, layout where they can provide their email address and we will send them an email link so that they can reset their password using Firebase Authentication. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we need to create a new empty activity for our reset password. So go to project and then app and then go to Java and right click and click on empty activity and name your activity here I mean, we will call it forgot password and then click on finish so guys if you get this error after creating a new activity this is a problem in Android Studio all you need to do is to save your app close it and open it back again so let's do that quickly all right guys so once you have solved that problem we need to create a variable for forgot password and we set on click listen on that and main activity.java file so let's do that and to do that we need to create one variable with a type of text view and we will call it forgot password and we need to initialize that in our on create method so forgot password equal to cast it to text view and then find view by id then resources id forgot password and set on click listener to it so forgot password so set on click listener and then this once you have done that you need to add forgot password id to our switch and on click uh, method so case and resources id then forgot password and here once the user clicked on forgot password we need to redirect the user to a forgot password layout and we need to start a new activity a new intent and then we call this and we need to redirect the user to forgot password class and then break all right i think this is the only thing we need to do in main activity so let's run our app so if you click on forgot password it should take us to forgot password activity okay perfect so now we need to create the layout it's very simple all we need is one input for the email and one button to reset the password all right so go to activity forgot underscore password dot xml and then go to the split section where we can write our code all right guys to save time i have done it really simple all we had is one banner there and i had one input section with a type of uh, email and then i had one reset button and do not forget to have a progress bar so that it keeps spinning until the email sends to your email all right so now go to your forgot password.java so private um, edit text and we will call it email edit text and we need another variable for the reset password so private button and then we will call it reset password button and one more variable for the progress bar so private progress bar and then we will call it progress bar and do not forget to have your firebase auth object so firebase auth and then we will call it auth and we need to initialize these in our on create method so email edit text and then we need to cast it to edit text and then find view by id then resources then id then email and do the same for uh, reset password button and cast it to button and then find view by id then resources then id then reset password and do the same for the progress bar and cast it to progress bar then resources then id then progress bar and the last but not least you need to initialize the auth object as well and this is where we get firebase auth and then we need to get the instance of the firebase auth so the only variable that we need to set on click listener is reset password button and that should be fairly easy just set an on click listener to it so reset password button dot set on click listener and then a new view and then on click listener and once this button has been pressed we need to call reset password function so reset password and we have an error because we don't have the method so let's create that so private void reset password and then have the method and the error is gone so before we reset the password we need to make few validations for the inputs that we have which is only the email so string email and then we need to convert the email edit text to a string so email edit text and then get the text and then to string and then trim it in case we had uh, extra spaces in the end and then we need to do some validations for the email we need to make sure if the user has not uh, provided an empty email or a wrong pattern email so if email is empty 
So if it's empty, we need to set an error. So email edit text, and then we set an error. We need to provide a message. So email is required. And then we need to refocus back to the input. So email edit text dot request focus. And then we need to return. Now we need to have a validation for the email pattern in case if the user forgets to provide a valid pattern email. So if patterns dot email address dot matcher, and then we provide the email and then we call the matches function and we need to negate this because we need to check if it doesn't match and then we throw an error. So email edit text and then we set an error and please provide a valid email. And then we need to refocus back to the input and return. So once we have passed the validation and now we need to set our progress bar visibility to visible. So progress bar dot set visibility then to visible and we need to call our auth object and then send a password reset email and then we need to provide the email here and we need to check if that succeeds so add on complete listener and then new and then on complete listener void so now we need to check if the task is successful that means if the email has been sent then we need to inform the user to check their email so let's create a toast and forgot password dot this and then we will say like check your email to reset your password then toast and then pick long and show the message to the user if not we need to inform the user as well so toast dot make text and then forgot password dot this and then we provide that message try again something wrong happened then toast again length long and then show uh, the message so i think that's it let's run our app and see our result so if you click on forgot password it will redirect us to uh, forgot password layout and then we need to provide our email then let's click on reset password and an email link has been sent to your email check your email so if you click on the link it will redirect us to a form to reset our password so in this in this case we will set it to six five four three two one and then click on save password changed so to see the result let's try our new password and then six five four three two one and then click on login and it works perfectly so guys if you really enjoyed this type of content please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you do not miss on anything so thank you for watching and happy coding